Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Persia. And we are, we're hitting a bit of a stalling point, but it's important to remember that this stalling point is happening right as we're changing gears. We're moving into a higher plane of existence. We're becoming the triumvirate. No, we're, we're becoming more powerful. And that's kind of why the, the gear shift is, is falling back on us here. So we just need to be patient with ourselves let our empire build up a little bit um, and, and just keep on keeping on keep the progress keep it going like we're just not quite pushing through the ottoman empire as fast as we would like but that's not important right we're, we are we are slowly but surely making progress on that front and we will continue to make progress on that front this isn't us like stopping this is just a stalling point right we're we're, we're hitting a point where the rate of our progress is slowing but we're still making progress that's the important thing is while progress is slightly slower than maybe we would like or would be ideal we are still moving forward and i think that's something people that's something people don't really understand and it's actually something i kind of realized this when people started talking about inflation they're like oh man inflation has gone down which means prices are going to come down and it's like no that's not it's not how that works it's like when inflation slows down prices just don't grow as fast <laughs> like like that's that's what that thing is that's that's what inflation is inflation is a measure of the speed at which prices increase not whether or not prices are going up or down so that's an important distinction that people uh, need to learn let's begin moving this man-at-arms army over here to the left we have a cool bit of stuff we would like to do in fact i want to do this and this and then i want to do this and this and then here i may lose a unit but i'm kind of okay with that we've made we've made good progress let's move you up here i would like to combine these two together awesome you need to fall back to there you shoot him you pillage you blast this district um, you take up this spot to defend you can attack here too we'll eventually start combining these together but we're slowly but surely getting everything in place. We're taking a little bit of damage there, but that's not the end of the world. Ooh, we managed to keep our units alive down here. I'm quite happy about that. Can we get a kill on this skirm? Yeah, we definitely need to retreat here with some of these guys. So I'll fall back with this line infantry. I'll fall back with this man at arms. This guy will move up to here. Uh, let's kill this. I think it's worth it to get that kill. You're moving west because we want to get some settling done. Let's actually plan these cities. Um, let's have a look at some controls. We want to gap, gather as many luxuries as possible. So right now I'm thinking there's a there's definitely like a desert city here to capture these luxuries. And depending on if there might be more luxuries down here to the south, um, that's why I'm not settling this right now because it, it could be possible that if I settle on one of these two tiles, it'll be fresh water plus an extra luxury down to the south. Um, whereas if I settle on this tile, at least we have three growth tiles for the city to work. Uh, really, I just want to grab as many of these luxuries. So I need to know more about the coastline. But as it currently stands, like here's a pretty cool campus right there. Um, there's a pretty cool city center. There's a pretty cool harbor, you know, something like this. We could also replace this with commercial hubs. If our goal is to make money, we don't necessarily need a lot of science, but we could, we could do something in this kind of a direction. All right, we got a spy over here. Let's go ahead and send this one to Constantinople so we can learn more about Byzantium. We are at war with them and we will go ahead and get ourselves another spy going in David Trembley. We got the entertainment complex in the city of Tim Russo. Let's get to work on the arena. Soon zoos will be on the cards. Let's combine these two guys together into an Immortal Core. Uh, it's going to be a five promoted Immortal Core with plus 10 combat strength, which will make my Immortals like a little bit more resilient. Keep blasting the city. You move there to make sure you get experience. I want you to kill this so that that's out of my face. Uh, you're providing adjacency bonus in terms of flanking and support. We're taking a slight bit of heat. Byzantium is coming for us with their vampires. We did lose a man at arms, which I'm okay with. The sheer amount of barbs that are just flooding here is a little bit scary. You heal for a turn. We definitely need to get rid of this thing, but it's going to just one shot us if we stay. Maybe it won't one shot my, my immortal core. But yeah, we definitely need to deal with all this. Let's start. We have no coal, so there's no point going for steam power. We're going to head towards rifling. We'll take ballistics for cuirassiers, rifling for the ranger, and then we'll eventually make our way to oil. We should have a lot of oil. Um, we are in the correct part of the map for oil. At least in theory, oil should spawn inside our empire. 
Clockwork Ouroboros has produced the settlers and will just continue to produce settlers. That's the goal of this, this whole Phoenician, the ex-Phoenician sector of my empire. Its whole goal is to settle this whole African continent while the rest of my empire fuels my war machine. Oh, the cool thing is actually this immortal can shoot twice. Well, it can, it can melee attack a second time. It only has one ranged attack, which is kind of an interesting way that that works. Let's pillage here for health. We'll pillage here for health. You're going to shoot that. I'm going to move this immortal here to shoot him and get that kill. I'm still healing on this bombard. And I think our main goal is to continue to just very, very slowly advance. We're bringing up knights now. Not, my knights aren't going to be very good at breaking the city. But what they are good at is... Uh, their night cores are roughly the same as a line infantry when it comes to like its combat strength and it's a little bit higher movement so it can do a, quite a bit of pillaging for me which will help me fuel my economy all right let's blast this can we take this on not yet pillage here we'll move you forward to get a little bit of extra damage in it's not much it does get his experience on him which is cool i think i do want you to become a line infantry there's another line infantry on the front line sidon has finished repairing um let's go for settlers that's the thing that makes the most sense to me Let's ranged attack again. Nice. So that should be a wrap on that guy. We can actually just totally move if we want. All right, so looking at this situation, I would like to break the walls on this. Let's see what we can do. Just about not broken, which is fine. This encampment will go down. Once we have this encampment down, going for Kanya itself will be a lot easier. Uh, but I think we might actually go for Bursa first. We just want to get rid of this encampment to open up Bursa for attack. Let's step up here. It would be cool to hire another Jong, and I am going to do that so that we can start to get a little bit of control over the naval situation in the Mediterranean. Plus, the really cool thing about the Jong is it actually can ferry settlers across the sea really easily because attached units inherit their, their movement. So my Jong could just like scoop up a settler that already used its moves and scoop it along, um, which will really, really help out when it comes to settling North Africa. Okay, there is natural history and importantly, we get access to the zoo. The zoo is a fantastic building, as is the water park. There is a city I wanted to build a water park in and it was up here. However, there might be some barbs in this water up here. So I don't know if I feel safe unless I have control over the Black Sea. So we'll have to kind of see what we do there. We do have national, sorry, we have natural history. Let's go for mobilization. So we'll have to go up through civil engineering. Uh, we could get, get the, let's go for upper and ballet. Let's get those envoys. Well, actually, I don't have many things I want to spend envoys on. So we're just going to go straight for mobilization so that we can do armies. That'll allow us to keep teching up our, our military in terms of its combat power. Let's go ahead and settle this city. We will immediately go for the harbor, as is tradition. We're also going to buy a trader to help this city out. And the question is, do we want to settle one or two cities here? I reckon it'll be two. Thinking like maybe on the rice tile. I settle here on the rice that captures a bunch of stuff. And then I could settle here that captures basically all the rest of this stuff here. And these will be really good gold generation cities, which is their main purpose. Their main purpose is to generate cash flow for me. Um, beyond that, don't super care. Let's blast the city. We will take out this encampment. Perfect. Um, so now I would feel safer to approach Bursa. Let's go ahead and pillage this niter mine. Let's move you forward as well. I think it would be cool to take a promotion. What do you, what, what is, what do you have again? You have Tortoise. So if this guy takes Battlecry and then I combine them together, they'll have Tortoise and Battlecry together and they're on the verge of leveling. So perfect combination of units there. Let's pillage with the knight, move over here to the farm. We're going to move the bombard forward. Um, we'll move Gustavus up to give the Bombard plus one movement, which will allow it to move and shoot. You are going to go ahead and take the Commando promotion so that you have a little bit of extra movement. You're going to come up here and you can actually do major damage to the City of Bursa now that we have a Line Infantry Corps. So you can see now we're, we're starting to open, and open up this front. Uh, the front is beginning to open up, which is exactly the kind of stuff that we want to be doing. We got the Gilded Vault in here, which is fantastic. Um, I think it would be good to go for the Armory and the Military Academy so we can start producing units like crazy in here. There is something to be said for going for an entertainment complex because the city is like just completely broke. Let's do it. I'm just going to... I'm. I think I need the... I need the entertainment complex. Zach Galeni, go ahead and continue to trade with the capital. Uh, get me your market. We need that gold flow. It's important that we keep the gold flowing. Dawn's Elite, I would like you to build me a theater square. Fenrir, I would like you to build me a water park. So we'll probably cancel the construction of builders. You've done a good job building builders. But yes, let's get that entertainment complex down so we can start pumping up the amenities. Can we kill this guy? Yes, we can. Excellent. We're just about ready to actually approach this encampment down here to the south. How long until I can buy another Jong? 18 turds. So quite a while until we can get that Jong, but that's not important. I will go ahead and build a turtle industry because it just seems like the right thing to do. 
and we want to trade back to the capital from this city because again we want that production and we want that food to really help kickstart these cities so they can build their harbour in a reasonable amount of time they can get more trade routes they can basically you know get themselves up and running way faster with a little trade route from the capital it's like such a big deal okay we got a little bit of a problem here but let's 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 put our settler on land you're going to pop back to heal you're going to step up this way and i think it'd be better if we take out the quad right quad is basically dead now you move up a tile to give this guy adjacency bonus and also potentially tank any more barb camps i could buy a thing from i mean i could buy i could hire a caravel here but it would be inside this sea and i wouldn't be able to get it out until i build a build a canal which i will build i'm totally going to build a canal here because it's you know it's the suez it has to be built uh, we're going to level you up and then clear this barb camp I want to get a settler over here too, so we can kind of claim all these luxuries that are hanging around. All right, keep blasting Bursa. Boom. Blasting Bursa sounds like a uh, like a like a rock album. Boom. Bursa's walls are broken. Just about four more fortification health, and then they will be broken. Let's turn you into a line infantry. You're going to step back a tile and then eat his soul. So now you're a line infantry core giving you a lot more combat strength and what we're trying to do is make really really strong individual units this is why I, I would really like to have more bombards to upgrade these guys but that's where these bombards are coming or these trebuchets are coming up from the south let's get rid of you um let's give this guy a flanking bonus then he's done move you over here shoot him can we clear him oh my god dude we're finally pushing back this barbarian swarm it cost us a lot of units but mostly it costs us units because we combined them. We lost a few, but nothing crazy. I love how gargantuan my empire is. It's kind of fun. This is a massive, huge giga empire. God, how is more shit spawning here? I just don't understand. Hey, yeah, let's totally keep increasing our diplomatic visibility. We do have access to civil service, which will improve our builder card. And we are constantly building builders. I don't think we need to change anything here. I think our setup is reasonably good. You could maybe make an argument for putting in colonization instead of chivalry. Uh, because I am building a lot of settlers, so that's a lot more total production across my empire, which I think is a, that's a reasonable call. Let's kill there. Line infantry forward. We need to get this field cannon. God, Jesus Christ, there's so much. Not enough gold to hire a line infantry. Maybe we can fix that. It would make my life so much easier if I could get a line infantry here. Might lose a man in arm core, but that's all right. Move him up to give him a little bit of adjacency bonus. Move him to there. Citrus online. Jongs are surviving. We got the commercial hub in Brant 48, which means we want to go for the market because those trade routes are super valuable, even on, on internal trade routes. We're going to go ahead and grab Reina. I'm going to pop Reina into Shahir Ukumis because it's just a good trading city. And Reina does have the ability eventually to give double adjacency to commercial hubs and harbors in your cities. Um, I want to retreat this man at arms back. So I'll pop him back. I'll take the tortoise. Can you... You need to level up shells you need to well you also need to level up expert crew so we're almost at that plus one range ability you have a level up we'll take commando let's just do a little bit of gentle scouting provide flanking bonuses for this guy awesome then provide protection support bonuses bursa will fall soon let's get this plantation online another copy of incense joins my empire and um, there is an incense here technically outside the range of my cities don't know if it's worth it to settle for it we have 20 33 percent control of the incense in the world we could get a monopoly we have a monopoly on dyes and we're getting a little bit of money out of that but the more monopolies we get the more we can totally pivot to a tourism victory we have 180 tourism from luxury resource monopolies we've built a decent number of pyrodizas they'll get us a little bit of passive tourism it's something we can totally work out in the in the in the grand scheme of things somehow we managed to find the sanguine pact by clearing a barb camp that's kind of neat very cool turn 195 and you know should have been <laughs> should have been found them a long time ago all right so we lost a unit over here on the front line but that's okay let's play it safe with our vulnerable units which are typically our immortals and our man at arms with our line infantry we can play it a little bit more dangerous all right we got it so many line infantries here holy jesus this thing just needs to go nice one we got the barracks and joseph joseph why don't you go ahead and build me a settler that's all you're really good for honestly water bill completed in a dern you could provide bonus units maybe to the front line nah you're a little bit slow on the production front uh you got loyalty problems you got amenity problems can you build me a sick as hell entertainment complex in fact you could build me a sick as hell entertainment complex right there this would help keep amenities in line in this area now it'll take a long time for you to build that but if i put you on production and food focus you might be able to make it work for me especially if i can get some builders over there speaking of builders i just need more builders god civ 6 just feels like a game where you never have enough builders particularly when you're playing persia on a big map like this right settler is in position plonk down that city we actually want to keep this alive so that we could buy another jong although this one will be a minus gires which equally is a valid purchase for me let's go for that harbor It'll be a slow harbor. We'll buy ourselves a trader to keep the, the dream alive. 
Let's kill this skirmisher because I don't want him to scout me and start spawning a million barbarians. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a listening post in here to have better visibility against Byzantium. He, she does have a vampire. Shouldn't have too much trouble killing the vampires. Bursa's time to fall. We're going to shoot it twice with our bombards and then we're going to go ahead and attack it with a line infantry and that should kill the city, boosting ballistics, which is excellent. There is a little bit of a loyalty problem in here. Mine is 18 per turn. We can deal with that mainly through the use of Amani. I'm going to bring her into the fold. Um, Victor is nearby, providing bonuses. We would like to start blasting the city at Konya because if we can flip Konya, we're in great shape. Uh, because that will give us enough loyalty to do something here. Now, let's have a look here. How's your loyalty going? You have just barely enough positive loyalty to keep you going. And I am in a golden age. You are not in a golden age. So hopefully I can put a little bit more pressure on you. I will be keeping this city. It will flip in 28 turns, which is plenty of time to deal with the problems that the city has. I'll put it on focus on golden production. A governor is idle. No, we actually moved them. Never mind. Really want that coal. Would love to get my hands on that call. Why don't you pop back for a heal? This city is somehow flipping independent, which is not what we wanted to do. We want to capture it ourselves. Uh, and then we want to continue to advance on Byzantium. I will finally put a trader into Joseph here to allow the settler to get boosted. Boosted along in its construction. We lost another man at arms because this thing is just crapping out an insane number of line infantry. It's popping out like a line infantry every turn, which is genuinely insane. Should not be possible in my opinion, uh, but it's one of those game mechanics that just is the way it is. I find it highly sus and uh, difficult to deal with. Uh, what can I faith purchase here to help out? Probably cavalry. Cavalry do okay against line infantry. And I'll bring this cavalry over to help too. Right, brilliant. We got the Gilded Vault in Porter, Washington. Let's go for, you know what we need? We need like a ton of builders. So I'm just going to start spamming out builders here because we can start swarming them around my empire to do what we need to do. Let's move this trebuchet tile. We'll upgrade it to a bombard. Now we've got a three charge, or our three promoted bombard coming to the front line. This guy almost has his plus one range, um, which is a bit mad. Let's blast the city of Kanya twice. We're going to pillage with this infantry. You need to get the surround so the city no longer heals. That's excellent. Let's bring down this immortal to take over the garrisoning of Bursa so I can free up this line infantry so they can start slamming into Konya. Now, there's a caravel harassing my cities over here to the east, so I need to go get ready to deal with that because I don't want to lose any of my coastal infrastructure. It'd be very annoying if that happened. More line infantry are spawning from this thing. God, that is just an infuriating mess. I think we can kill two, though. We can get close to killing two. Now we can definitely kill two. Okay. We're slowly pushing them back and we have cavalry coming in to help get that kill. Perfect. We got the arena in Tim Russell. Let's get to work on that zoo. That's going to be a nice AOE amenity boost. Continue to work on Kanya. We'll shoot it twice with our bombards. We're going to move this line infantry up to the left, this line infantry up to the left, and then we'll spam, smash both of them into it to start to bring the city down. A little bit light on cash. So I think there is something to be said for using my ca my heavy cav here to break open the juicy underbelly that is my enemy civilization to get to the sweet nectar gold inside right jongs are approaching this caravel we need to take him out there is a potential dark age coming here which i'm actually fine with god just more shit spawned uh, let's kill you combine you together you get this kill you kill there shoot this goddamn scout twice please and then you shoot him you kill him perfect we're almost here. We're, we're just like, we're, we're almost over the line with this barb camp. So we managed to get quite a few cuirassiers in the capital. I think it could be good for us to go for a theater square, but I just need all of the cuirassiers I can get. Um, it's a great way for me to spend my iron. I need the heavy cavalry. They'll turn into tanks. We will go for the coal power plant here in Kutaisi because we want that coal. Uh, we want that factory production boost, which we are now getting the factory production boost, which is kind of exciting. Actually, in my capital, if I were to take this cattle tile, do you know what I need? I need this. I need the amenities. So I'm going to go for the entertainment complex in the cattle, in the capital, on the cattle. That'll take eight turns, but it will be super useful when we have it. Pillage, one shot, two shot, then attack and attack. City of Konya has fallen. It's now mine. I'm going to grab... Magnus and just use him as a loyalty stick. We've got that city under wrap. Want to go take Izmir and then come back for Ankara, I think. Because Izmir has the coal and we want that coal. Now, I think my spy was kicked out of that city, which is understandable. Bring the Jong over, deal with this caravel once and for all. Just about killed it. And we also need to repair a whole bunch of buildings in here once we keep Konya. I don't have an idle governor. Why are you lying to me, game? The game likes to lie to me sometimes. Lovely. There is the ranger. We're going to go ahead and pillage this tile. You're moving up to pillage here as well. 
which means we're now one tech away from getting refining. We're working on a coal power plant, so we could delay this and go for economics to get corporations, which I like the idea to be able to found corporations, although I haven't gotten any great merchants this game, even though I went pretty hardcore into commercial hub stuff. So forming corporations might be a little bit difficult for me, especially in a game this big, it can be hard to do because there's so many people competing for great people. And it just the game wasn't really balanced around having this many people in a game, like free for all, at least in my opinion. Uh, this settler, I think we would like to make it so that we captured the incense a little earlier so i'm gonna go there plus also this will help us capture oil any oil that appears so we'll make that work why don't you go there grab me that nicer we got the entertainment complex here let's go for the arena you got the market let's go for the zoo a settler popped out here guess what we do we go for another settler unfortunately my stuff over here was damaged we'll have to get some repairs going but Let's go ahead and build whales on this tile. That'll be a nice little military production boost, but more importantly, we just get access to the potential monopolies. Now there is a lot of whales across the map, so getting a monopoly on whales will be tough. Turtles might be a little bit more doable. I think we have a, a lot of the turtles that are gonna be on the map. Uh, let's have a look. Incense is a for sure monopoly we can do, as is dies. In fact, going north and killing Georgia would probably be the play to get a dies monopoly. So that might be part of our long-term moves. Um, okay, attack here, attack once, attack twice. We just, we need to kill this barb camp. I'm just, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm really tired of this barb camp being annoying. So it just, it super needs to go. Um, but the cool thing is a lot of potential stuff we can do with this land if we so choose. Pillage here, move to the right, blast the city of Izmir. You move forward, blast the city of Izmir. Bombard, joining the fray. Uh, where's my line infantry? I guess my line infantry are kind of healing up, but they will be moved up to attack the city soon. We've got the market in Zach Glenny, which is just fantastic. More trade routes for me. Uh, this is definitely a city that needs to make an entertainment complex for me, though. Purely just based on the fact that there is just a severe lack of amenities in my empire. And there's not really much in terms of units that I could build that would really help me out here. Like, what is it going to build? Line infantry when I have upgradable line infantry? I mean, I guess it could technically build me cuirassiers, which wouldn't be bad, I suppose. So... Yeah, I'll I'll start producing my tanks. Kill that field cannon. Pillage this goddamn outpost. Kill this guy. Just get him off the field of battle. And now we can start really considering what the hell we're going to do here. Ooh, a tribal village. Yoink. Would have been nice to have found that earlier in the game, but hey, it is what it is. Izmir will flip independent in 16 turns. I'm far more interested in, like, taking the city manually. Uh, you are now breathing manually. So we'll kind of get ourselves up into a position to do that. I'm going to bring this line infantry up because smashing a line in infantry into the walls is a great way to bring them down. You're going to guard the city of Konya. And some of my cuirassiers are now hitting the front line, which is exciting because they actually do a lot of damage to units. Not so much to cities, but eventually the damage that we do to cities will be taken over by artillery. We need to upgrade a unit here. I'm going to move this man at arms over. You know what I could do instead? I could just faith buy bombards near the front line to combine together with this spare nighter. That's absolutely what I'm going to do. I need, I need to be more act proactive about using the faith buying thing, for sure. My prediction slash apprehension about where to go on this oasis, I'm glad that I waited because now I can move this city down and down and actually capture a larger chunk of the desert and grab more luxury. So I'll get two more incense out of this city. I'm excited for that. So let's get a settler along the way. We've got the arena in Karl Sorkfist. This is going to be a very slow zoo building, but we will get it. I will finally repair the theater square because at least that theater square will get a little bit of adjacency bonuses. We're also going to go ahead and plug in Total War so we get more resources. And then we could plug in expropriation, which will give us extra settler production as well as cheaper tile purchasing. We've got a ton of gold in the bank. So economically, progress is just really solid. Now, this is a slow progress game. I will readily admit that, right? We are not storming through things. But here's the thing. Always, always important. We are making progress. This is something people get wrong all the time, whether it's in life, whether it's in video games, whether it doesn't matter what it is, just people, if they don't feel like forward progress is like fast enough, they feel like they're going nowhere. Dude, you are making progress in the correct direction. Always remind yourself, right? You can handle it. You can do it. Life is hard, but you got it. You got this, okay? Even if you can only walk five minutes a day, that is more forward direction than zero minutes a day, okay? Right? Get out there. Get at it, okay? Motivate. You don't need motivation. What you need is better perspective, okay? That's what you're lacking, all right? That's right. I'm trying to motivate you guys. Get out there and live your damn life. No, um, all right, we found a caravel. So we need to kind of look to blow that up to keep these jongs alive. We're going to settle this city. Mostly, we just want the incense from the city. Let's purchase the granary. Um, we'll purchase the monument. And then we'll just have this city very, 
very slowly built builders. It's going to be a very slow passive income of builders from here. Uh, we have no other desires upon this city. We'll just take all the desert tiles in here. We can go for flight now if we want to. This would give us the ability to start producing quite a bit of tourism. I think I would prefer to go for refining. And one thing I can totally do in my empire right now is unlock this for gold, drop this off, plug in Limes, and then literally go through my entire empire and start building walls to get that little bit of extra tourism because there is there is like a potential um, here for us to get a tourism victory if we kind of carefully navigate through this and just get the little bit of walls going. Uh, we've kind of we've kind of waited until the last moment to do this, but this is just what we call a wall surge. It's like the right before the Limes card goes obsolete, we just start walls. We just start walling up every possible city to maximize the amount of tourism we're going to get. The idea here being we're as close to conservation as possible, which means we're going to start benefiting from that. I remember we have monopolies on, so we're going to benefit massively from even just a small trickle of tourism because of the multipliers. So literally just through every single city, ancient walls are getting built with a view to just get just enough tourism um, with our huge impressive empire to scare the hell out of the other players. Now, actually, it's kind of a curiosity to me to see how are other players doing in tourism? Yeah, some unmet player is 42 tourists, so they must have some kind of monopoly. So that's going to be a fun process is to, to build up those walls. We're very close to conservation. So once we have mobilization, we'll go for conservation. I think that's going to be the play uh, because Persia isn't a bad tourism sieve, right? We get tourism from our Pyrodizas. They're spammable. They can be put everywhere. It's a very small trickle of tourism, but you can get like two to three tourism per Pyrodiza without too much trouble. Okay, Blast is mere. Blast is mere. Blast is mere. We combine this bombard here. We come back into Adirne, faith by a new bombard, and we'll be able to faith by another one next turn because we're finally making like 10 niter per turn. And we can also pillage for faith, which is like super helpful. And we're pillaging for gold too, really taking us to the next level. Boom. Blast is mere. Blast is mere. Oh, man. The, the amount of times I've said blast is mere is just like kind of satisfying, actually. Uh, let's pillage here for a bit of gold. Izmir should fall soon. See if I can get another line infantry up there to maybe assist in that. Ancient walls completed in David Tremblay. So there's going to be a whole fun process of like every time we finish an ancient wall, we're going to want to build, we're going to want to build medieval walls. Every time we finish medieval wall, we're going to want to build Renaissance walls. And that's just going to be like a really big process that we work on for the next while. Totally could have used Boudicca at some point to actually take over the barbs, but I think she kind of served her purpose a little bit better, um, providing combat bonuses. There's another plantation. So our monopoly is starting to become insane for incense. If I check it, what are we at? 42% control. So we just need a shard more. Boom. That should be another monopoly online. It might not update this turn. Yeah, 50% control. So one more. There's two here, one here, one here. There's probably a few sprinkled throughout this desert that we can get to. Spam it out a whole bunch of medieval walls. Urbanization is about to finish. Then we'll get mobilization. Conservation is on the way. All the shun techs are, are, are here. Okay, I want to break Izmir this turn. So let's do a blast. There goes the walls. We'll blast the city again. And again. Can you get this kill for me? Perfect. The city is now dead. Let's upgrade you to a Karasir. Move you across the river. Don't quite have enough gold to upgrade you to a Karasir. Can do this. Do a little bit of combining. Attacking here. We're going to keep this city for sure. Loyalty shouldn't be a problem there. Um, unfortunately, the Dark Age is literally about to happen. Ooh, I really want to kill this, so let's get that kill. I'm kind of curious. This is a 96 combat strength vampire. It's killed 10 units near it, so that's quite a scary unit. Even my Quarassier cores are going to struggle to fight this thing. Here's the thing. We don't have to fight him. We just have to outlast him and not feed him kills. Let's go ahead and gain sources so spies operate at a higher level in Constantinople. And on the eve of a Persian Dark Age... I tell you all what, why don't we call this the end of this episode on the verge of greatness. A transition period for the Persian Empire is about to begin and I want to thank you guys very much for watching right up until this crisis. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.